She's coming down, boys. She's coming down, boys. You're good, you're good. How's it going, guys? Cheese here at Cheese on Everything. And as you can see, we are heading into Crownland right now. And for those who don't know what Crownland is, it's basically uncharted territory, government owned land, no cottages or anything around. It's kind of like going into the bush and uh, there's a lot of sites that people made but you don't have to pay for it so it's nice and free you can do whatever you want you can shoot guns you can hunt whatever is in season obviously and you can go fishing hopefully we'll find the site because it gets pretty busy here a lot of people are figuring this place out this is about two and a half hours north of toronto it's supposed to be really nice weather this weekend it's about 23 degrees right now gonna drop to about 18 which is a little cold hopefully that'll keep the bugs away black flies and mosquitoes are really present right now so let's hope we can uh, find the site and camp out for the evening you got a rock on that side and you got two on this side yeah you're good you're good yeah you're good straight Can it full send it? That's true. It's small. We got a really beautiful campsite. Got a boat launch and everything. And we got tons of space for a lot of tents. And so we're gonna set up and then uh, head out onto the lake and see if we can catch some fish. But before we paddle out, let me take you through the setup at the camp. Starting from the left, we have our kitchen with the two burner stove. And to the right of that, we got Aaron here cooking breakfast at the hydration station. In front of him is a lock we're using as an extension for the kitchen counter. Camouflage in the background in those canopies, we have a full toilet and shower setup. For all you ladies who like to camp but don't like the fact that there's no shower or washroom, these easy up canopies with a power shower attachment makes any campsite feel like a provincial park. In the corner is where my tent is situated. I have the Marmot Crane Creek 3P. It's got tons of room inside even with a double mattress and still space left over for clothes or a camping bag. And of course all our tents are facing the beautiful lake so we get a great view when we wake up in the morning. Go for some fish, nice day out. We got three, four boats now. We just found a random boat at our campsite. And uh, hopefully we'll catch something. Look at my gal. <laughs> In a spicy kayak. <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous today. The sun is beaming down. Midday right now, it's pretty hot. We've been getting a lot of rain here in Toronto and finally one weekend where it's nice and sunny. Nice uh, exercise in the day. Got this little kayak kit. It's the uh, Savage Gear tackle box. It comes with three boxes, but I only have two in there right now. And it also comes with three of these pouches, which is really nice for plastics. Got some fire starters and cables in here. So this is the power bank that usually powers the uh, fish finder I have on this kayak, but I don't really need it today. So this is a nice power unit up here. Really clear water today, so I'm gonna use a brown with red flake. Gotcha. Small, not even a half pounder. Baby bass. Tiny one to start the day, not too bad. Let's go for some biggins. Oh, caught one in the weeds. Another dinky. A little bigger than the last, but it's better than nothing. Get him in the boat. Yep. Got some weight to her. Yes! <laughs> yes. Nice. Dumbling down. Not a bad one. Pretty good size. I'd say around pound and a half. There you go. It 
it's that time of the day. We gotta get some firewood for tonight. Make a big fire. Got a new chainsaw I gotta try out. This is the Still 170. Got it here. What's your game plan? Is find an almost dead tree. Chop it up into pieces and put it in the back. Yep. That's pretty blessed. <laughs> Bless. It's blessed homes. Yo, this place looks so abandoned and creepy. Yeah. What is this place? It's a hunt club. Oh. Alright, found a decent tree to cut down. Pretty dead, lots of branches we can use as kindling. Perfect. First cut straight like this. Don't go all the way through. Then maybe like half ah, away. Do halfway. Halfway. Yeah. Next one at an angle, then cut it from the back. It's coming down, boys. It's coming down, boys. You're good. You're good. Good job, boys. There's, there's still tension there, so be careful. <laughs> there's this much tree connecting it to this. Yeah. So once we can separate it from that, we can roll it that way and it'll just go. Is that poison ivy? Yeah, that, there's the one there. there. I'm just looking at that. <laughs> Here, Aaron. <laughs> Stop. Aaron, no, 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 get, get out of the way. I'm going to throw it where you are. <laughs> I slipped. I've fallen. I can't get up. <laughs> Got a little visitor at the campsite. There were like two of them. Hey, little guy. Leave that here for you. <laughs> wow, he's so cute. He's so close. Yeah. Uh, chipmunk. Hello, guy. I've never been this close to a chipmunk before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is that, cucumbers? Yeah. Yeah, she eats uh, vegetables. Yeah, I love vegetables, man. Most she dogs don't eat vegetables. Holy fish, you Holy fish. Oh, what's that? Sit. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Cool, sit. sit. Give me paw. Paw. No, Cole, paw. Good boy. Other paw. Good boy. Gentle. Good boy. <laughs> you lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Leave it. Leave it. Wait. Okay, go. Good boy. Sarah, can we be famous now? <laughs> Time for some snacks. We got a sausage cheese melt. What? It's that time of the evening when the fish are most active, so we're gonna go out for another paddle.
but I would like to do all the heavy lifting first and since the current's going against me going out I'm gonna use it to come back in when I'm tired Ooh, it is windy out here not too bad but definitely feel it on the arms I actually want to fish that point right there but because the currents going against me I'm gonna go further out and then let the current take me back to the spot I want to go so I'll be nice and ninja when I get to my spot and catch some big ones little tip you can use your fishing rod while you're on a kayak and just steer yourself with the tip of the rod oh getting some bites getting some bites yeah, caught one. It's tiny though. But it's something. Small mouth? Tiny small mouth. Thank you, little guy. But it's something. So what I usually do with the Scotty reel is uh, put this one backwards. Because when you have fish on, you can uh, just put the rod there and deal with the fish. Because this kayak already has uh, two other mounting points here. One on this side and one on this side for fishing rods. So you can uh, just use those as your holders. And then use the Scotty reel to fix your fish when you catch them. It's a huge slab of rock right here. That's probably why there's so many smallies. And then there's uh, some weeds on the inside too. Perfect combination to catch some. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There you go, buddy. This one's a better one. This one's a better one. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh, ooh. Feisty. Oh, it's not even that big. Oh yeah, these guys are, these guys are in here. There you go. Back you go, buddy. Is that a fish right there? That is a fish right there. Oh, he just grabbed it. I saw my line move. Oh, he's coming back, he's coming back. He came back for it, he's coming back for it. Come on, get it, get it, get it. There you go. Man, these are all dinks. All dinks. Oh, thank you, little fish. Oh, you ripped my... What a guy. What a guy. Rips my worm in half and everything. This guy's a quarter pound. It's been an hour since I caught my last fish and uh, they're all dinks over here. Looks like they're all coming out right now because it's uh, dusk and they're all searching for food. They're all popping in the middle of the lake now. So I'm going to go out there and uh, see if I can catch any big ones. Oh, is it finally a decent one? Nope, still a dink. Still a dink. And he swallowed this one whole. Another dink. Just packed everything up. Make sure you leave nothing behind. No, no garbage, no trash. We found a lot of trash at this site before, so we cleaned most of it up. I think we got it all. Uh, if you want to come out to Crown, it's an amazing place and it's beautiful up here. Like the video if you do and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Okay. Mud flap, too much flap. Is there an off
behind me? Yeah, there's just a rock, but you can. Yeah. Good. Stop, stop, stop. Good. Wicked. And we out. <laughs>